John Forrest got his first win of the season. How about this guy now? Well, one way or another, Don Schumacher is going to take home a Wally. Both of his cars are in this final. And you know, as well as John, as Don Schumacher's done today and as good as he's feeling, the best news is from his sister who texted him earlier. His 95-year-old mother is doing much better out of the hospital out in Chicago, doing much better. Holy oh. ball spot. But it's Massey. Schumacher has to look again for a win this season. Massey, 415, 269 miles an hour to a losing 425. Well, you saw both cars uh, spinning the tires. Spencer Massey was out there first and then uh, spinning the tires down track and luckily he had that momentum to get the win. He only ran a 4.15, but it was enough to get the Wally. And for Spencer Massey, it's his third win of the season, Dave Reef. Well, Phil Schuler, looks like the driver did a good job there keeping it together. What was the plan heading into that final? Uh, just to survive. We couldn't lose. Uh, we work real good with each these two cars together and just go up here and have a good race and somebody's going to win. What do you know? Survive turned into thrive. Don Schumacher, we just got the news about your mom who's been ailing for quite some time. That's got to be great, the best news of all. She's doing better. Got a text uh, just before this final round. Wanted to say hi to her. Thanks. Congratulations on a great day. Gary Gerald. Spencer, when the tires start to spin there, how much did your heart think? Well, the thing started spinning the tires, and I was like, well, do I pedal it? Well, no, I'm already past eighth mile. Just keep my foot in. And don't. No, I was just hoping that belt didn't come off. And then it felt like it was letting loose, and then it picked up again, and that Fram car got to the winner's circle. Thank you. I want to thank everybody. I mean, I want to thank Autolite, Prestone, Fram, and this Wally, because it's awesome. I'm loving life. Let's go for two more for the swing. And Spencer Massey in top fuel at the 700th race becomes the 21st different yeah. in the history of this race at Denver. Stat guy. The Western Swing started first in 1989. Spencer becomes the 25th different winner in top fuel, the most of any of the three classes that compete on the swing. And as we move closer to the countdown, it begins to take shape. Del Worsham, Spencer Massey, they have now clinched. The battle continues around 10th, where David Grubnick is now. Alan Johnson, you've run so well up here on the mountain. Red lighting in the final has got to be the worst way to lose. Uh, how do you feel? You know, I felt like I give it away, but you know, we got to be proud of this Mopar team. You know, five straight finals, two runners up out of them. You know, uh, you're going, you're going to get Mike. He's tough. You know, we we made a, a little bad run there in the semis and lost lane choice, and then we made a really bad run right then. So, I don't think it would have mattered if I read it or not. But I was going for it with all I had. You know, it's him in for Mopar. I want, I wanted this win bad. Man, that's tough for him. And in funny car points, Tim Wilkerson got in to the top 10. Now we head off to California, wine country, Sonoma. I love the Western Swing. Can Spencer Massey, John Force, or Mike Edwards sweep the Western Swing? We'll have to find out. In one week from Sonoma, we'll see you then.